Alabama Movement, uh, William Lee Donaldson, uh, September 9th, I'm sorry, September 20th, 2016. Um, we were starting the third week of the nationwide work strikes, hunger strikes, uh, boycotts of the internal revenue generating businesses of canteen, snack line, Senate packages, visitation, wall phones, uh, all the above, all of the different apparatuses that are used uh, by the state to fund mass incarceration. All these avenues of revenue, uh, in addition to the free labor uh, that we, we provide and the products generated from that re, uh, free labor, the, the, the multi-billion dollar a year industry uh, that is mass incarceration, the prison industrialized complex, uh, all put together to make prison slavery, uh, which is um, authorized by the 13th Amendment uh, to the United States Constitution. Uh, many, many movements around the nation uh, to abolish the 13th Amendment, amend the 13th Amendment, to remove the exception, whatever you know you want to say. But the 13th Amendment clearly states uh, that neither slavery nor involuntary servitude, except as punishment for crime, where the party shall have been duly convicted, shall exist in the United States. Uh, so that speaks for itself. It has its own reality. Uh, it has its own conditions uh, that are attendant to that. And so we're, we're organizing against that. Um, today, uh, I'll be talking about a document called the Freedom Bill. Uh, the Freedom Bill is a document that is being proposed and put forward by Free Alabama Movement and that we're urging other participants in the, the prison rights movement, the National Freedom Movement Against Mass Incarceration, Prison Slavery, uh, the movement to amend the 13th Amendment, uh, whatever the title that you're going under, uh, we're asking, we're putting forth the, these freedom bills and we're asking each individual state um, to draft their own legislation uh, relative to the conditions of confinement, uh, the issues uh, attendant to confinement, uh, whether it's lack of education, be it rehabilitation and reentry programs, uh, whether it's disenfranchise, disenfranchisement laws in your state. Uh, whether it's the lack of media uh, allowed inside your prisons, um, just whatever the issue is, uh, we're asking men on the inside, men and women, uh, draft your um, freedom bill for your state, address those issues, and then organize around it uh, and get involved with these uh, these nonviolent peaceful work strikes, protests, hunger strikes, everything we're doing. Um, just want to talk about our freedom bill for a moment. Um, it talks about part one, section one. Uh, we're asking that it be enacted that the Alabama Department of Corrections uh, reduces prison population down to design capacity. Uh, the design capacity of Alabama prisons is a little under 14,000. There are over 30,000 people incarcerated. Um, it's the most overcrowded, old, underfunded, understaffed prison system in America. And so that's part of the part one, section one. We're asking that some of the old prisons in the state uh, be torn down. You have prisons in Alabama, over 30, 40 years old, asbestos, lead paint, um, built on contaminated grounds, the water is contaminated, uh, the air quality is contaminated, the soil is, is eroded, contaminated. Uh, there are humanitarian and health issues all around uh, as a result of these contaminations and environmental issues. Uh, it's time to tear those prisons down. Uh, we don't mind them building new prisons, but we don't want them brick and concrete. Th this is inhumane. You know, um, these uh, solitary confinement cells, these supermax units, this is inhumane. We don't want to see that. You know, that's not what we're advocating for. We want to see something that is designed to address the issues. When people in society have problems, if you're going to build a place to bring people and remove them from society, then make sure you're putting them somewhere that is humane and civilized and is, is equipped to address problems. Uh, the majority of people in prison are mentally ill people. Um, we're asking that mentally ill people be removed from prison. Uh, these are not mental health institutions. They're ill-equipped uh, to deal with mental health people. These are just regular CO1s with GEDs, a 
bare minimum education. They are not certified, qualified, and two or three mental health people cannot deal with three and four and five, eight, nine hundred people caseloads uh, of mental health people. So, I mean, we have to be realistic about it. Um, we want to abolish capital punishment and life without parole. You know, um, these are death sentences all the way around. It is a barbaric practice uh, for black people. It has been used as a form of social control uh, when we were killed on plantations and we were, you know, mutilated in front of our families uh, to send a message of threat and fear. Uh, police, uh, which were uh, slave catchers back then, uh, evolved into police forces today and they're still doing it. They, you know, they just murdered the brother in North Carolina. Uh, they just found out that the officers planted the weapon on the brother in the murder in New York. And so we're continuing to see the same patterns of behavior, but we're not seeing any uh, benefit to society. Capital punishment does not work. Uh, life imprisonment without parole um, is not, it's, 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 it's not efficient. You know, you can't give a person life without parole for something they did when they're 18, 19, 20 and say they can't be rehabilitated. That doesn't make sense. We have people in prison in Alabama who are 15 years old, Evans Miller, capital murder, life without parole. How can you say a 15 year old can't be rehabilitated? What scientific metric, what technology, you know, you, you, you telling us you can put a man on the moon, a space rover on Mars, a telescope to transverse the universe. Um, you have layers of God and missiles. The, 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 the power of the brain is on full display for the whole world to see. So why you're saying that this brain that made a mistake can't be fixed? I mean, uh, we don't, we want to see changes in youthful offender laws. Children do not need to be in prison. These places can't even accommodate or address issues for adults. 